Okay guys, one of the heavy hitters this year, the Wheelside 400Z that actually is supposed to mimic Han's RX-7 from Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. This looks unreal. This is gorgeous. You can see they've added these brand new front canards. The front is more extruded. I mean, look at these wheels. You got the five spokes so the three piece wheels just like you had on Hans RX-7. It's in that beautiful orange color with the contrasting black. I think this looks absolutely amazing. It is a big rival for TJ Hunt's 300 kit. But yeah, guys, this is unreal. Now you get a back view of the build side. And look, another 400Z. It's got the body colored over fenders. I much prefer that. Much, much cleaner look. This is so cool. The first two 400Zs I've seen and they are modified. Oh, this is twin turbo. Oh yeah, actually all of them are twin turbo. That's so cool. Am I able to take? Can I take this? I assume I can. Good. 400Z GT car. Wow, look at the presence of that. The aero. This makes some of those wide body kits look like a bit of a joke, but yeah. Oh my gosh. So cool to see this, like when it's brand new. Stand Star 400. Definitely the lowest 400Z I've seen so far today. This like really bright metallic paint. Manual again, fantastic. That is beautiful. Just look at the fitment. No way. Is that a 326 wing? Oh, I can't remember. Are those VSK? No. I. Oh. Why do I not remember the name of that wheel? It's the really expensive one that everyone goes on about. Anyway, crazy fitment. Can't say I'm a fan of this fitment, but I definitely respect it. In terms of a truck spec 400Z, that looks amazing. The endless bricks there. Wow, I love that wing. Very, very nice. And then here, this is a. Uh, this is almost like the old 240Z wide bodies, but adapted to the brand new 400Z. I, I really like the style of this, and I really like that it's a dark, deep blue, just like the Devil Z, which is such an iconic car in uh, Japanese car culture. You got the Workmeisters. Wow. I must say, one interesting thing about this car, it does, it does have a bit of an overbite. It really does. But it's fine. It's all good. 